Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be creating a card using minimal supplies. I've got them on screen right now. Um, I've got some very inexpensive Crayola watercolor paints, some watercolor cardstock or watercolor paper, uh, some white gouache, you could also use a, a white acrylic paint, a pencil, a bone folder, and a ruler. You'll also need a black pen. I didn't have it out on my work surface here, but you will need a black pen. The first thing we're doing is we're going to create our card base. So I have some watercolor paper here that is cut to 10 inches tall by three and seven eighths wide. This is going to create a smaller card. And I've marked the five inches mark on each side. And then I'm uh, connecting that with my bone folder. This is going to create a score line right at five inches so that I can more easily fold this watercolor paper in half. If you don't have watercolor paper, I would highly recommend picking some up. You can get some fairly inexpensive watercolor paper at craft stores, at art supply stores, or sometimes even in a supermarket. You can get some really inexpensive uh, watercolor paper. It will make your card look better if you use watercolor paper. You can try this with regular paper, but I would really recommend try to get the thickest paper possible. I'm not going to take a pencil and I'm very lightly going to draw a large heart onto the front of this card. If you have a, like a large heart from something else, maybe you even cut out a heart out of some paper and you want to trace that on here, you definitely can. I'm just freehand drawing this heart and taking my time and really sketching it out, getting it to the size that I want it. Um, you could do any shape for this, in fact. Um, I'm going to be making a Father's Day card today. You could definitely make this for lots of other occasions, but if you do it for someone who has a particular hobby that they really love, so for example, if your father really likes to fish, you could draw this as a very simple fish image. I think that would be really fun, a fun way to personalize this card for the recipient. I'm going to just keep mine as a basic card. So now I'm going to add on some color using those inexpensive Crayola watercolor paints. And the secret to using these inexpensive colors is that you really want to add a little bit of water and swish around that brush and really work it into the paint so that it becomes thicker and thicker and you can get a really nice saturated color once you start painting. I am using the paintbrush that came with the set. I'm not doing any real precise painting today, so this little brush will do just fine. I'm adding on some red color onto this area and I'm going to paint a simple galaxy over this shape. I painted a galaxy earlier last week. Um, I'll have a link to that card up in the top corner if you want to check it out. But I'm using the exact same method for creating this galaxy with inexpensive paints. The only thing you have to really uh, be conscious of when you're working with these Crayola paints is that you want to make sure that you kind of swirl and mix up that paint quite a bit before you start painting with it. You'll see this purple is a little bit more anemic. I didn't mix it up as much, so I will come back later and add more purple on top. You'll also want to take note of where your colors are placed. Try to put colors near each other that are together on the rainbow. So you'll notice that I have some red with orange, red and then into yellow and then green. And I do have one spot where I've got blue coming into red, but those together make purple, so I put some purple on top. I also wanted to mention if you have any paint that kind of goes outside the lines, if you're using these Crayola paints, they're very easily to clean up. You can add a little bit of clean water on top and then use a clean paper towel to dab up any of that color. I'll show this to you one more time later in the video when I have quite a bit of color leaking outside the confines of the heart shape. I had a big wet spot in the center of the heart, so I did dab that up with my paper towel, and then I let this dry completely. You wanna make sure everything is dry before moving on to the next step. I then took the black watercolor paint, and I made that really, really thick and dark using a tiny bit of water, and then I started to paint over the top of these colors. This can be a little bit nerve wracking. It can be a little bit daunting at first, but I promise if you let that black go on top and let some of the colors kind of glow from underneath, you'll get a really cool galaxy effect. You can also add a little bit of water to your paintbrush without picking up more paint, and then you'll get some lighter areas as well. One thing that I like to think about when I'm painting on the black layer for the galaxy 
uh, painting is that I like to keep the shapes to be almost more circular, like I'm using more of a circular motion to paint on. It's almost like you're painting black clouds over the top of the colorful paint underneath. So it's kind of a fun way to think about it. So I'm gonna speed up the video here just so you can see the entire process. Um, I did add quite a bit of black to this, just with a few areas with the, the complete color peeking through. You really want it to just have a, the effect of having kind of like a black film over those colors. I also took a paper towel and dabbed up some areas so that they were a little bit lighter, and I really liked that effect on the black as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add some water droplets to this. This is going to give it a cool kind of dry back effect. So most of it's kind of half dry right now, and you kind of want it to be almost dry, but not really when you do the water droplets. So I added that on, and then I had this area off to the side that started bleeding out the side with that blue on it. So I am going to have to clean up that area. So I let it dry quite a bit, and then I brought in a clean, some clean water on this brush, and I'm just adding a little bit of water to that outside area and then dabbing it up with my paper towel. And this really cleans up that line and makes it so it doesn't look like the color is bleeding out of that area so much. So now I'm gonna bring in that gouache. Gouache is just an opaque watercolor type pigment. You could also use a white acrylic paint or even just draw on some white dots with a white gel pen. I think that would work just as well. Mixing that up with a little bit of water so I get a good consistency. And then I'm putting it on the edge of an acrylic block. You don't have to have an acrylic block for this. It could be anything with a sharp edge, even just a piece of cardstock if you'd like. This is just going to give me a vehicle for splattering on that white in a more controlled manner. So I'm kind of flicking it off the edge of that block there. And this gives me a little bit more control in making some nice paint splatters that will serve as stars in my galaxy. You could, like I said before, you could do this with the edge of some cardstock, or even if you have something that has a sharp edge, like a piece of plastic, something like that. So now that I have quite a few stars, I'm just going to fill in a few of those areas, and then I let it dry. I'm going to add my greeting onto this. If you wanted to leave this blank with no words at all, you definitely could. But I'm going to go ahead and draw on the words, love you, dad. And they're all connected. So I'm using lowercase letters in a cursive style. And I drew that on with a pencil. And then I'm going to take a black pen or a black marker and go over the top. After you've drawn on the letters, wait, that, wait a little bit of time for everything to dry and then come in with a pencil. You might want to test a small area with the pencil eraser just to make sure you don't smear or smudge your words. So that's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next card video and thanks so much for watching.